Hi everyone, welcome to my video. This is Mustafa Ahmed and today I'm going to continue with Petrol. Uh, today is the first video of how to make dynamic model. Uh, I've already explained how to make static model and uh, I'm also uh, posting the data that I use in my Telegram channel so you can find the links in the description. So let's start. As you can see here, this is a static model that I've made and <clears throat> today uh, I'm going to show you how to make a fluid model so this model, uh, to display it first of all, uh, press on it, as you can see here uh, you can display a liquid formation volume factor with the pressure and uh, oil viscosity with the pressure and RS with pressure so today we are going to do these things uh, so let's start a new model uh, to start a new model uh, here in 2017 version uh, you can find it in reservoir engineering uh, here click on fluid model and this window will pop up. If you don't have 2017, if you have 2009 or older versions, you can find them in simulation. Um, but uh, to find them quickly, you can press on your keyboard on uh, Ctrl and F. Uh, this window will pop up uh, and uh, in it you can type uh, fluid model okay press on this icon and this window will open to <clears throat> so here I have already a um, fluid model so I'll make a new one to show you how to do it step by step as I'm working on buzzer gun um, so I'll select the model as black oil and the type is light oil and gas <coughs> this uh, this option you can depends on your reservoir if you have dry gas dead oil uh, heavy or uh, heavy oil and gas or light oil and gas depends on your reservoirs you have to know the properties of uh, the oil in your reservoir uh, i'm working better gun i know uh, the api gravity of better gun is 21 so it's light oil and gas <clears throat> here uh, in the faces I don't have gas I have oil and water because I know that Bezergan is producing uh, above bubble point pressure so till now uh, Bezergan is producing above bubble point so I won't select gas because I know that Bezergan is not producing uh, below bubble point but if you know that your reservoir has gas cap or it will be below bubble point uh, so you have to select this option um, here uh, you have to select the reservoir condition uh, minimum pressure and maximum pressure uh, temperature and uh, pressure reference I know these uh, data I'll type them uh, uh, maximum pressure is uh, here I have to change the units <coughs> it's 441 uh, pressure reference is 440 so here I have to change the uh, units to 440 and here uh, the, the minimum pressure is should be uh, a probable point too because I don't have gas I told you that I don't have gas and the minimum pressure for uh, the reservoir should be above bubble point and bubble point of pressure is 138 so I'll type it as 139 sorry I have to change the <laughs> units 139 uh, here the temperature is 112 
the gas gravity for buzzer gun is 0.75 and um, API gravity is 21.6 bubble uh, point pressure is here that unit should be bubble point pressure is uh, 138.5.5 bubble point pressure such uh, solution gas oil ratio formation volume factor and the rest of these properties, uh, if you don't have them, you can, a uh, petrol can calculate it for you by these correlations. So I'll select standing just to show you that petrol has a uh, correlation to do them. But I won't depend on them because I have already have these data and have these, infor these four informations. So I won't use them. I'll use another table from um, special core analysis and BVT data. Here water salinity, actually I don't know the water salinity but so I leave it as default. The initial conditions, okay. Um, here the pressure uh, initially is 400, wait let me change the units, 440, um, the depth is minus 30 minus 3000 sorry and here um, water contact is minus 3875 okay so now press on apply but before that I think I have to change the unit to bar here Oh, sorry, I have to, <laughs> this name is not, uh, I have already model with the same name, so I have to change the name um, to, uh, so that I won't get error, it's not about the units, uh, if you, if I change the units back, it won't uh, affect, so press on apply and This is the model that I've got. Okay, if I display it, as you can see here, um, these are the properties. It's not match anything. And these are the real properties. So let me show you how to edit this. Okay, so this is uh, the oil and right click on it to press on fluid spreadsheet. As you can see here, uh, pressure, uh, liquid formation volume factor and oil viscosity. I need these data. These data I can get them from... Um, from here, okay. Uh, BVT... Uh, BVT uh, special core analysis data and I'll leave these data in my telegram channel um, so I'll delete these all and then I'll get my data from here right click spreadsheet um, copy them and then here I'll paste them Press on apply, and these are the data. Okay, so now I'll explain them all, and what do we mean by uh, oil formation volume factor, oil viscosity, uh, gas 
uh, oil ratio solution gas oil ratio okay so let's start with solution gas oil ratio uh, this is the general shape of it so rs rs a popover point is still constant uh, at the same rate but uh, below a bubble point it will be decreased um, as you can see here if we display only the rs here um, this is the bubble point pressure i think uh, 94 so a bubble point it will be uh, point, uh, 94 it will be 94 uh, but below bubble point it will degrade as you can see here so this is the first property and this is the second one uh, oil viscosity as you can see here oil viscosity is decreasing above bubble point but below bubble point it is start to increase um, it decreases here because of uh, the oil is stretching uh, a little bit because of uh, the compressibility is uh, decreased so it will stretch a little bit so the viscosity will decrease and it increases right here because of uh, the gas is liberated from oil and uh, it will be two phase so the oil uh, viscosity will decrease and if we go back to petrol well, this is the oil viscosity as you can see here a bubble point is decreasing but it's increasing below bubble point so this is the second property the third one is oil formation volume factor um, the oil formation volume factor or PO defined as the oil at the stock tank uh, to the oil at uh, the reservoir so the volume of oil at the stock tank or at the surface uh, to the volume of oil at the reservoir and um, as you know that the volume of oil at the stock tank or at the surface is much lower than the volume of oil at the reservoir because at the reservoir it has gas too um, so when gas is liberated from uh, oil the oil volume will decrease uh, that's why you can as you can see here the oil viscosity uh, the oil the oil vol volume factor is uh, increasing uh, above bubble point but below bubble point is decreasing uh, and if we go back to petrol you can see it right here the oil formation volume factor is increasing uh, above bubble point but is it's decreasing below bubble point um, so this is what I have for today uh, uh, in the part 2 we'll do um, history matching and we'll continue with dynamic model so thank you for watching and see you in another video